What's up with y'all? Jay Beasy. We back at it. Got another Destiny 2 video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Soros Regime. Intrinsic perk reads, Soros Legacy. The bottom half of each magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. We got Hammer Forge Rifling, Tactical Mag, and we got Spinning Up, one of its traits. Holding down the trigger increases rate of fire. Then we got Dual Speed Receiver, its other trait. When aiming down sights, weapon rate of fire slows while weapon damage increases. Then we got a hand laid stock. We got the Catalyst, Soros Ascendance, increased chance for kills to regen hell. Gonna, this is, here's what it looks like regularly. Here's the OG ornament from Destiny 1. And here's what we're gonna be rocking out with. It's the new ornament from uh, Season of Worthy. But uh, yeah, auto rifles then got a buff. And Soros is one of those auto rifles that have been highlighted right now in the community. Everybody got their eyes on that and uh, this guy right here, we'll do a video on him next. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. Right, yeah. Sorry I ain't posted in a while. My uh, editing software, DaVinci Resolve, was not fucking with me for a few days. But we back at it now. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to really go ham here in the coming days. So uh, expect more videos from me. Oh, looks like the game start. Let's get into it. Also, the first game on probably should have did a warm up game, but we're here now. Look at him eat. Hard light, man. Nice. Got more range than me. Oh, we're just gonna spawn me right here. I really needed that. Did they spawn him right here? Alright. Yeah, you're not how good to me. I wanted to go in a rumble. Because Soros is a really good dueling weapon, like one on one. I really feel like Soros is one of the, the best dueling weapons probably in the game right now. Thank you. Look at that. You're in first place. Where are you going? Oh, I dare you. Body. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me that. Well placed grenade. You've lost the lead. Give me that. Uh this is me. Thank you. Oh, if I lose. God, see, that's the thing about auto rifles, though. If you're, if you can play cover well with a hand cannon, you got it. Oh, he outplayed the shit out of me. I didn't know you could. That's lame. Oh. Oh, thank fucking God. Well, he just played better. But, y'all can see the power of swords. It's not bad at all. Also, not one to hop into another one. Alright. Ooh. I ain't played like this map in quite a while. Oh my goodness. Okay. Everybody was all in that little ass area. That was like four people.
second. Better. Don't let this vested guy kill you, whoever's back here. What did I just say? Well, don't let this vested guy kill you. My final version on Soros. Definitely a top tier auto rifle right now. That and hard light are like dominating the crucible. I'm not an auto rifle connoisseur. Y'all see how many hand cannons I got on my character? It's just I'm a hand cannon guy. Also, first my first two games of the day, so maybe that could have been it. But uh, this thing is this thing is definitely a monster in the right hands. I've done well with it on many occasions. So uh, yeah, competitively I definitely have to give it a, like a four or a five. Just on the way of how the crucible's looking right now, everyone's using it or hard light, so that should have given it enough credit in and of itself. Fun, fun factor. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a lot more fun than most auto rifles, more than more than hard lights, especially more than a lot of the legendary ones too. And just the way it looks, that's fun enough to look at for myself. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and uh, peace out to the next one. Bye guys.